Hi everybody, how is 2017 treating you? New year, new resolutions? I hope so. If you watched one of my old videos about losing an old client, you already know that I recommend not being complacent and always looking for new clients because you never know what the future holds. With that in mind, I started the new year reaching out to old clients. All I had to do was write a letter, go through my old clients folder and start firing out messages to say, hey, I'm still here if you need anything. Sometimes clients don't have a big demand for your language pair. So when finally something shows up, they have already forgotten all about you and decide to go out in the jungle to find someone new. Some other times, project managers leave a company and the replacements end up reinventing the wheel instead of tapping into the current resources. So how can you stay relevant in an industry that is so fast-paced? Well, my big tip for you today is to stay organized. If you have an organized client's portfolio, all you need to do is dedicate a few minutes of your time each week to reach out to them and make sure that you're always on their mind. Here's what's been working for me. Every six months, I go through my client's folder where I keep subfolders with each client name and I check who hasn't sent me any work lately. I then move that client's folder into an old client's folder and as often as I can, I contact these old clients to say, hey, I'm still available for collaboration if you need anything. Now, if a client ever caused you any problems in the past, make sure that you create a folder called bad clients and you drag that client folder in there because you definitely do not want to forget that you never want to work with them again. So with my template letter ready and a list of client folders organized in alphabetical order, I'm able to go through my inbox and look for archived messages so I can reach out to them again. I take note of all the project managers I've worked with before or any other contacts I may have had within the company so I can address them informally and say, hey, how's it going? I also look for the dates when we were last in touch so I can say something like, hey, we worked together in 2015 and I was wondering if you have anything for me right now so we can resume our collaboration in 2017. So the takeaway lesson today is organize yourself, keep clients separated into dedicated folders and archive your email messages so you can always contact old clients and resume your collaboration. I know it may sound obvious, but you have to have an easygoing personality in this industry. You want people to remember you for all the right reasons, not as someone who is difficult to deal with. I've already talked about the dangers of being a whiner, so when interacting with clients and peers, keep in mind that complaining won't get you anywhere. Make sure people remember you for what you do, not for the negative things you've said. Everybody gets frustrated and it does feel like you're constantly swimming upstream. So know when and where to vent. Otherwise, you may get the reputation of a big complainer. You may not have realized it, but if you keep a positive attitude, you will attract positive things as well. When you talk about the things that you do and you position yourself as a problem solver, people will come to you when they need help. If you have this positive attitude while networking, you increase your chances of being contacted by a client or even recommended for a project by a peer who may not be able to work on that, either because they're not available or because they don't work in that field or language combination. Word of mouth is a powerful resource in this industry where everybody seems to know one another. So keep that in mind when you're interacting with clients and peers, either in person or online. 